Well, good afternoon, and it is time for another Lower Lights devotional here on August 30th in the year of our Lord, 2018. On August the 30th, 1943, I made my appearance into this world. Some would say the world has never been the same since, and I hope it hasn't been in a good way. I hope I've been able to make a difference in the lives of some people anyway. And I feel quite confident because I've tried to obey the Lord in all things that indeed I have made a difference in some people's lives. I like to think that uh, there's some people in heaven today uh, because I came into this world. I like to think there are others that are on their way to heaven because I made my appearance into this old world. And I would like to think that there are others that are out there just waiting for me to get them on the right path and the road that will take them to heaven. So I hope I've made a difference. I felt like I would be kind of remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about the blessing of the Lord today. Now, for 75 years old, I believe that I can look back and say I am truly blessed, and I have been truly blessed. I think about how God has blessed us with uh, so many things and in so many ways and the few minutes that I allot for my little devotional uh, really is not enough to even get started on the many many ways that God has blessed us but I'm thankful for every blessing today I'm thankful for the blessings of of a good family a good wife that has stood by me down across the years put up with me in many different ways she certainly is my better half Thankful for four wonderful children. I tell you, all of our children aren't serving the Lord as we would like for them to be. Two youngest boys are still away from the church and away from God, but we're expecting God to bring them in soon. But still, they're wonderful children. I wouldn't trade them for your children or anybody else's because I believe they love their parents and we love them with all of our heart. Then the grandkids. Mercy, we got a whole parcel of grandkids, and now we've got uh, one, two, three, almost four great grandkids. And so I have to say that we've been blessed with a wonderful family and have experienced the joys, along with a few heartaches, of course, as every family does, but the joys of having a wonderful family. Then I think about how God has blessed us with with our ministry. Uh, I'm almost completing 51 years of pastoring and I look back and I see the blessing of the Lord upon our ministry. We've been so blessed to pastor such wonderful people. I hear some preachers get up and they've just got a tale of woe about their pastoring and how badly they've been treated and the rough time that they've had and on and on and on. I've heard some people go, some preachers go about how rough it's been but I guess I'm especially blessed because my the people that I've pastored, except one or two old cranks, have been just wonderful. And uh, the churches that I have been privileged to pastor are among the best in the land. And as I've already mentioned on Facebook today, I believe that the Lighthouse Chapel, where I've been serving for 21 total years, is probably the dream church of every pastor. So I have to say that I'm blessed with family and I'm blessed with a wonderful ministry. I'm blessed with reasonably good health for my age and I thank God every day for the health and the strength that he gives. And, and I'm able to uh, do what I believe the church expects of me and what God expects of me because I'm just blessed. So on my 75th birthday, I want to just tell you that I feel so blessed and I thank God for the way that he's blessed our life. Lord, thank you for 75 years here on the face of this earth. And Lord, as thou dost permit us to linger on, pray that thou will continue to make us a blessing wherever we go. We don't want to just enjoy life's blessing, but we want to be a blessing. So help us to be thus. Go with us, guide our lives, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for letting me share. I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Aiton. Goodbye now.